Hungary's Viktor Orban is threatening to cut off EU military aid to Ukraine. And Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky cannot count on continued U.S. support either. Volodymyr Zelensky's trip to the Americas was marked by difficult negotiations. On Sunday, the Ukrainian president witnessed the inauguration of his new Argentinian counterpart, right-wing libertarian Javier Malay. The person sitting next to Zelensky at the ceremony was none other than Hungarian Prime Minister. Viktor Orban. It didn't take long for a 21-second video clip of their conversation to begin circulating online. You can't hear what the couple is saying. But their body language is clear. Both later commented separately on their conversations. Zelensky, who hopes his country will join the European Union, said in his video speech in the evening that he presented Ukraine's European policy interests to Orban as clearly as possible. The Hungarian prime minister's spokesman said Orban informed Zelensky that EU member states were constantly negotiating with each other about Ukraine's possible accession, despite what neutral diplomatic language suggests. The stakes are high. On Thursday and Friday, EU leaders meet in Brussels to discuss plans for a new 50 billion euro aid package for Ukraine and the start of formal accession talks. However, it is stated that the meeting will be tense. Hungary openly threatened to veto them. At start of Ukraine's second winter of war, the country finds itself in arguably most dangerous situation it has faced since Russia launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022. In military terms, the last few months have been defined by attrition rather than territorial gains. In Kiev, soldiers' wives and relatives recently protested demanding that fighters be allowed to leave the front lines for longer periods after 21 months of war. Zelensky is also settling scores with domestic political critics, especially Kiev Mayor Vitaly Klitschko. As the world's attention shifts from Ukraine to the war in Gaza, promises of more arms and aid packages, likely vital to Ukraine's survival, are collapsing. Against this backdrop, Hungary is now actively taking sides against further military aid. Just a month ago, Orban praised Russian President Vladimir Putin for good relations. In October, Orban held long talks with Vladimir Putin in Beijing. Meanwhile, Hungary's approval of Sweden's accession to NATO is still pending. Sputnik Grigory Sisoyev Pool via Lithuanian Foreign Minister Gabrielius Landsbergis one of Kyiv's staunchest supporters, shared his own interpretation of Orban's behavior in Brussels on Monday. The only way I can understand Hungary's position, not only on Ukraine but on many other issues, is that they are against Europe and everything that Europe represents. He told reporters, Orban gains the upper hand as summit approaches Marcus Kame, a researcher at German Institute for International and Security Affairs. Sees Orban's threats ahead of the S.